The Ultimate Thread Group gives the JMeter test designer flexibility and control when designing a load test that follows a predetermined load profile. By specifying a few simple metrics, relatively complex load profiles can be designed. This thread group also displays a graphical representation of the load profile to assist the test designer in visualizing throughput over time. Let's add an instance of the ultimate thread group to explore more about how it works. The behavior of this thread group is controlled by the thread schedule, which is a user editable table within the thread group configuration panel. It is here that we can define how many concurrent threads we desire, ramp up parameters, the duration that we want to sustain the load for, and ramp down or shutdown time. To define a load profile, let's add a row to the thread schedule. You can see how the graphical load profile display updates as it is defined with metrics in the table above. Let's go ahead and add a few more rows to complete the load profile. As you can see from the graphical load profile, this task will gradually ramp up threads, for virtual users, over the first 75 seconds of this test. A maximum load of 400 simultaneous threads will be attained, at which point the thread count will be gradually decreased until the conclusion of the test. The entire test is expected to take 2 minutes and 15 seconds to complete. We can also add one or more samplers to our test that will be managed by this ultimate thread group. Here we'll be using dummy samplers, which you can read more about in our blog in the link section below. To make it so we can monitor our test within the JMeter UI, we can also consider adding a view results tree. At this point, we can click the start button to run our test. As our test runs, we can monitor the output for debugging purposes within the view results tree listener element. The basic ultimate thread group is one of several thread group types that are part of the custom thread groups package. Please see our other videos on our channel if you are interested in learning more about these advanced thread groups. You can find links to these in the description below.